that's not in here. Oh, there it is. I told you it was there. Awesome. Make sure you adjust the focus. All right.
Good afternoon. My name is Nayana Calhoun, and I am a member of the class of 2018 of Irma L. Morangel Young Women's Leadership School. We are ready to begin the ceremony. We ask that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear her name announced. Please refrain from using noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distraction that are not conducted to maintaining dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause until after all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es María Hernández y sirvo como la consejera de la Escuela de Liderazgo de Irma Hermargajel. En unos momentos vamos a comenzar nuestra ceremonia. Le pedimos que traten este evento con mucho respeto. Cada graduado merece oír su nombre anunciado. Por favor, absténgase de utilizar matracas, bocinas, campanas, gritos o cualquier otro distractor que no sea apropiado para el mantenimiento de la dignidad y la grandeza de este evento. Le pedimos que mantenga sus aplausos y gritos de felicitaciones hasta que todos los nombres hayan sido llamados para que el nombre de cada persona pueda ser escuchado claramente. Su cooperación ayudará a proporcionar el mejor graduación para cada estudiante. Gracias de antemano por su cooperación para asegurar una digna ceremonia de graduación. Gracias. Welcome, teachers, families, guests, and fellow graduates of 2018. It is with great honor and pleasure that I stand before you all today, a very special day indeed, a day in which we celebrate the culmination of our high school journey. As I reflected upon my seven years at Rangel, I came to a conclusion that academics were not amongst the first things that came to mind. As important as our teachers may think, implicit differentiation, mitosis, and Shakespeare may be, these are not the things I will tell my grandkids about in the future. What I will tell them about are the people, the people that are sitting on stage behind me, who throughout the years have become more than just classmates. They have become my sisters. We've played multiple roles in each other's lives, comedians, motivators, tutors, teammates, or best friends. I will tell them about the people inside each Rangel classroom who not only served as teachers that taught the curriculum, but as role models that helped to inspire us. And finally, I will tell them about the people in the audience, our families, our unconditional lovers, our biggest fans. Any school can teach you and make you a smart person, but not all can make you a better person. Rangel has granted us the gift of believing in ourselves, believing in our worth, and believing in our capabilities to achieve our dreams. We have humbly accepted this gift and made the most we possibly could from it because today we are ready to embark on the next chapter of our lives. Soon the familiarity of Rangel, the busy mornings, the crowded halls, the loud bells will be replaced by huge lectures with professors who won't even know our names. College and the future in general will be scary, but one thing I know for certain is that we will all excel because we were all cut from the same plaid. Today marks the beginning of the rest of our lives. And although we depart no longer being classmates, we will forever be bonded as sisters of the class of 2018. Thank you. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, friends, distinguished guests, and most importantly, my fellow classmates. I am honored and humbled to speak on behalf of our class, 2018, 
the 10th graduating class of Irma Lerma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School, the first public all-girls school in the state of Texas. This moment is not only about us, but about the journey that brought us to this point, including all of those people who helped us along the way. Seven years ago, we began our journey in our new plaid skirts in a school with only girls, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, as Ms. Davis would say. Many of us were there only because our parents forced us to, but what we didn't know was that we were in for a big surprise. These girls that I would be in for seven years weren't your typical girls. These girls were weird, in a good way. They were just different. Surprisingly, we all somehow fit in. We never would have expected the many memories and great times that we were able to enjoy as we grew up as Rangelians. Thankfully, we grew out of our days using Google Plus and posting on Schoology about Taylor Swift, mainly since posting on Schoology was blocked, but that's a different story. When I first heard about the year 2018, I thought to myself, there's a long way from there. That time won't come soon, but somehow the day is here. Our efforts and sacrifices were not in vain, since they have gotten us this far. I remember, I remember the restless days this year due to all the homework I had and due dates from different applications that we always procrastinated on. Like Ms. Morano says, we are known for playing with due dates, but at the end of the day, we always met the deadlines. Maybe with only two minutes to spare, but hey, everything was done. But this procrastination thing is something many of us were accustomed to. Through middle and high school, we had many of those sleepless nights where we stayed up finishing projects like our baby book from Ms. Clark. I remember all the time spent memorizing the creed for Ms. Brooks, and let's not forget the egg project we had to do for Ms. Reed. As our journey at Ringo continued, times were still hard, but we learned to appreciate those times when we were at our highest point, as well as those times when we were not feeling all that great. This year, our lunch mostly consisted of us trying to finish our homework for the next class. This was one of the reasons why everyone was always hungry. But all those times when you guys were hungry, I had snacks to calm y'all down. And I guess that made our rough hungry times a little better. Many times, I might have been a decepcion, as Gali likes to say, but I mean, I tried to keep everyone from starving, and that's a pretty hard task since Rango girls eat a lot. Although we shed many tears this year, that only strengthened the bond we have. Our sisterhood is like no other. I mean, what other class would scream as someone would submit a college application? 2018. And what other class would be there to cheer everyone up when they shared some great news? 2018. And what class started the brag board in Mr. Strauss' class? Again, the answer is 2018. Our, cl our class really knows how to support one another. All of our hard work paid off and our cheering were not in vain. We were admitted into 116 colleges in 30 different states, Washington, D.C., and one country outside of the United States, Spain. If that isn't something to be proud of, I really don't know what is. But these accomplishments would not have been possible without the help of many supportive people who were there to guide us and motivate us this whole year. I want to thank Ms. Morano for all the work she did for our class. I know we are pretty hard to handle at times, but in many occasions, I walk into Ms. Morano's office full of questions. She was always willing to help, even though she had a lot of work on her own. Thank you, Ms. Morano, for all of your hard work and love that you showed our class, and for the tears you shared with many of us. I know that was the case with me. I would also like to thank our class sponsors those, and those people who helped make this last year a success. Ms. Baptiste, Mr. Delahaye, Mr. Stroud, and Ms. Moreno. Thank you for all the work you did for us. I am grateful for all of those that I love who helped me as I, ma as I made some of the hardest decisions this year. One of the biggest supports I had during those days full of stress were my parents. Mami, papi, les quiero dar las gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Si no fuera por ustedes, yo no estaría aquí ni fuera la persona que soy hoy. Gracias por siempre motivarme y por creer en mí. A ustedes les debo todos mis logros. Gracias por todos los sacrificios que hicieron por mí. Espero poder hacerlos orgullosos, así como yo estoy orgullosa de ustedes. A mis tres hermanos y primos, les quiero dar las gracias por hacerme reír y por todas las memorias divertidas que, ten, que hemos compartido. Los quiero mucho. And because I know Gabriel would be mad if I didn't mention him. I love you too, Gabriel. I feel honored to be able to graduate as your class valedictorian. People before me crossed borders so I could cross the stage today. This is the case for many of us seated here on the stage. I am truly proud of all the accomplishments every single one of y'all has made. 2018, I want to thank y'all for being part of my journey here. 
Thank you for always listening to my super funny jokes that I know everyone loved. Thank you for somehow always being in depth to me. And yes, I'm talking about Vanessa and New York. Also, thank you for constantly reminding me that I owe you a picnic, Melissa. To my class of 2018, I want to thank every single one of you for going through this journey with me. All the memories we created through our middle and high school years are our story. With all of our stories from these past seven years, we were able to create a book. I want all of you to cherish this book and make it one of your favorites. Share any quote, paragraph, or even page that you love from this book with others. This first book might be coming to an end, but our life isn't just a single novel. Our life is like one of those book series. And just like any other good series, the second book will be as good or maybe even better than the first. As we start to finish the first book in our series, always remember that the pages in book two are still blank. We now have the choice to write what we want and continue our own stories. The path ahead of us will not be easy, but we can choose to let those things get to us or we can choose to brush them off and keep going. And I have one last request for all of y'all. As Johnny once told Pony Boy, I now tell you, my sisters of 2018, stay gold. Bernadette Nadal was elected to represent District 9 for the Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees in December 2009. Ms. Nadal earned a Bachelor's of Arts in Business Management from Sam Houston State University in Huntsville, Texas. She received a Certificate of Competence Training Program in Constructional Leadership from the University of North Texas in Denton. Ms. Nadal is an active member of her community, and in 1999, she confounded Circle of Support Inc., a comprehensive academic and enrichment summer learning program for students in kindergarten through eighth grade. The program provides summer educational programs for more than 250 boys and girls in math, science, art, and reading. Ms. Nadal is married and has two daughters. Please welcome to the stage, Ms. Bernadette Nadal. Hello. I'm a Renhell graduate of 2018. I knew you could, I knew you would, and yes, you did too. Just like the train in the famous children's book, The Little Engine That Could, you remember that train that was determined to keep chugging and moving forward in spite of obstacles and doubts. And ultimately, because it thought it could, it did. And you will too succeed. Yes, you will indeed. Oh, what a great moment, your graduation day. Now, what can you do? There are so many choices. The world is a mist. Take a good look around and decide what makes sense. I wish I could show you the stops that you're visiting, but that isn't my choice to make for you, Armoran Hell, is it? Instead, I can tell you some lessons and tales that I've learned and relearned in my time on the rails. But which track is yours? Well, that all depends on which way it's going and where it might end. So where would be your next stop? What are your plans? College, a job, some hard work with your hands? Mm, a degree or a job or some hard work with your hands is important. That much is clear, but that's not the only thing you need to know, dear. Today, walk with pride with your graduation hat by streaking it on Snapchat. But first, before you go here, are a few things you can't filter that you must know. Your ABCs, no, not the alphabet, but the ABCs are the keys to life. A, always treat people with respect. B, believe in yourself. C, convert your thoughts into hope. D, you must always be dripping in determination to make your hopes into dreams. E, expect some obstacles on the way up. L, fight while being faithful and always finish the course. G, get God on your side. H, hope for the best always. And I, inspire someone else. J, take Jesus on your journey. And K, keep on keeping on. And B, always be a leader. And M, make every day count, Armour Hell. And N, never. Give up. 
In O, you can overcome all obstacles. In P, put your best foot forward, girls. In Q, Q, quit quitting. R, run the race with patience. In S, strive on while keeping trust in God. T and U, use your talents to make a difference in the world. In V, value your time. In W, wait for understanding. X, x-ray your lifestyle. In Y, yearn to achieve all that you see. In Z, be zealous when reaching the top. There's more about the ABCs of, li ABCs of life that you'll learn as you go. Because guess what? Figuring things out on your own helps you grow. My message to you is, you did it. You're done. You're made it. You're through. Whatever you do, now or later, big or smile, small, loud or quiet, whether near or far, I know you'll be great, girls, because you know what? You already are. Congratulations, 2018 Armour Red Hill graduates. As interim principal of Irma Lermarin Hale Young Women's Leadership School, I proudly present the 2018 graduate candidates for graduation. Candidates, please stand. I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all the requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. And they are qualified to receive their diplomas, or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony that is consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Michael Hinojosa, as Chief of School Leadership of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2018 graduating class of Irma Lerma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School. As the board member of District 9, I'm pleased to award these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Cynthia Noemi Mesa Gonzalez, highest honors.
Brenda Otilia Castaneda Alvarez, highest honors. Melissa Serrano, highest honors. <laughs> Fatima Mendoza, high honors. Karen Ruby Devora Cigaroa, high honors. Elizabeth Torres Samaripa, high honors. Catherine Alejo, high honors. Garen Armendariz, high honors. Luisa Fernanda Ariola, honors. Ariel Barron, honors. <laughs> Nayana Ramon Calhoun, high honors. Irma Samantha Casas, high honors. <clears throat> Sherlyn Gayet Castro Padilla, honors. Chastity Carolyn Chavez, high honors. Marlene Cobos, high honors. Rebecca Compian Serrano, high honors. Giovanna Odalis Dominguez, high honors. <laughs> Nesa Yadira Dominguez, high honors. <laughs> Johanna Escandar, high honors. Crystal Guadalupe Fernandez, high honors. Verania Sitlali Fonseca, high honors. Jacqueline Adelene Gayona, high honors.
Jacqueline Garcia Hernandez. Honors. Imani Inez Garrett, highest honors. Genesis Samid Gutierrez, high honors. Galilea Jasmine Hernandez, high honors. Dulce Peranice Ipina Valencia, high honors. Alexis Hawaika, high honors. Jocelyn Hasso, high honors. Jacqueline Lomelli, high honors. Ariana Lopez, high honors. Jennifer Martinez, honors. <laughs> Paola Martinez, high honors. Isabella Marie McMillan, high honors. <laughs> Fabiola Murillo, high honors. Abigail Tespe Nagasa, high honors. <laughs> Jael Tespe Nagasa, high honors. Alejandra Guadalupe Ocampo, high honors. <laughs> Melanie Emparatriz Ochoa, high honors. Cynthia Penalosa, honors. <laughs> Justina Perez, honors. Lucero Mercedes Perez Martinez, high honors.
Rosa Linda Perez, high honors. Amy Chom Fan, high honors. Anna Suchinda Pensak Wang, honors. <laughs> Amaria Kanisha Latoya Pinnock, high honors. Angelina Printers, honors. <laughs> Melanie De Jesus Rodriguez, honors. Natalie Rodriguez, high honors. <laughs> Jennifer Rojas Vargas, honors. Fernanda Roman, high honors. <laughs> Veronica Guadalupe Romero Pantoja, honors. Jennifer Romero Vasquez, high honors. <laughs> Stephanie Salazar, honors. Daniela Saldana, high honors. Eolani Sanchez Carrion, high honors.
Vanessa Sarmiento, high honors. Megan Rayleigh Stewart, high honors. Estelle Isabella Stroud, high honors. Sally Stephanie Thames Martinez, high honors. Star Thomas, honors. <laughs> Jennifer Ulloa, high honors. Catherine Villa Diaz, high honors. <laughs> Jennifer Villalobos Zavala, high honors. Carolina Zuniga Sanchez, honor. At this time, we need for all the graduates to please stand. If you will now turn your tassels, move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations to all of our graduates and much success to you in the future. Fatima Mendoza. My name is Moses Serrano, and we would like to ask you all to stand with us as we say our Ernie Lemmer Creed one last time. After which